Bonjour. My name is Nadej Montplaisir, and I am a volunteer at the Turner Free Library in Randolph, Massachusetts. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about a book that I'm going to uh, start doing a series on. Um, and the book is titled Jean-Jacques and Frida Allez Marcher en Fer, Go to the Iron Market. And this is Frida and Jean-Jacques, and in the background is a picture of the Iron Market. I love this book for two reasons, one of which it has beautiful illustrations and pictures of what the words are saying in the book, and when you read it to your young readers, they can actually see what's going on and get a visual. The second reason why I really love this book is because it talks about a lot of, of proverbs. I won't give you any um, details now. But in the Haitian culture, our elders, our grandmothers, and anyone else who's much older than the children, they always use proverbs to teach the children about everyday life and life lessons. Um, and that's the second reason why I love it, is because I can teach my little one a lot about life lessons and also about Haiti and Haitian culture. So to tell you a little bit about the book, um, I'm gonna read to you what's in the back, which tells you about the iron market and how it was started. Um, I'll read it to you and you could also um, go to your local library and rent it out, or you can uh, purchase the book online yourself and you can read a little bit more about um, the back um, history of the iron market yourself. So let's get started. The iron market of Haiti has a very special history. The market was built in the nation's capital, Port-au-Prince, in 1891. Since then, it has served a very important landmark and symbol for the Haitian people. But how it arrived in Haiti's, um, Haiti is, to this day, a great story in itself. The iron market was built in pieces in France in 1889. It was intended to go to Egypt to become the railway station in Cairo. The sale to Egypt did not go through, so Haiti's president, Florville Hippolyte, purchased it to help modernize Port-au-Prince. The market is known as Marché Hippolyte and as Marché en bas, as well as, but more commonly known as, Marché en fer. During the great earthquake of 2010, the iron market was badly damaged. The international community rallied to, to help save the market and rebuild it. The new market is stronger, resistant to hurricanes and earthquakes, and it even has solar panels. So I look forward to reading this book to you in three-part series, and I hope that you will join me during that time. Apita!